Welcome to Admin Setup Upload Types. Select the Admin tab and then scroll down to Upload Types. What the upload type is, is it's the description of the uploaded documents. So you will see these in the, when you upload a document, these are the types that you will see in the drop down. They can be filtered by business type, and I'm going to focus in on tax preparation business type. Makes it a little bit cleaner if you're not seeing everything all at once. These are the upload types that we currently have set up for our tax preparation. You can see some of, them, some of them we just have lines here just for spacers, just to make it look a little bit neater when you're looking at that drop down. I'm gonna, going to explain each one of these columns and then I'll show you what you're actually going to see within a client's file. So predefined notes. This column here is for predefined notes and if it's orange that means there is a predefined note set up and then if it's still blue there's no notes set up. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the, we'll, we'll set up a predefined note. Let's set up a new one for check stub because we don't have any predefined notes there. So for example, a lot of our clients receive two checks. They'll receive a federal check and then they'll receive a state check. We upload and make a copy of those, so we will label them. So we'll have one labeled first check. So here's the description. The note is what's actually going to show up in that note field. You can leave it the same as the description or you can make it a little bit longer and more detailed if you like. So we create an upload type, a note for the first check and the second check. All right, so we've typed in our description, our predefined notes, and we've saved it. So we now have two predefined notes under, under our uh, check uploads. So we can go back to the upload type. So now you can see that there is a predefined note. Now the next column here is for upload type notification. This notification can be set up so that the client will receive an email or text or both when a document has been uploaded and they have been given full or limited access to that document. We'll go ahead and look at our upload type notification under tax return. So what we do is once we upload a tax return for a client and we have given them access to it, we want them to be notified that that tax return is there and they can now look at it through the portal. So the first thing you want to do is check the box to enable the notification and type in the subject of your email and then this is where the body of your email message goes. Now it can be customized with the client name, your portal link, and your company name as long as you enclose those words with the squiggly brackets. Then you can also create a text messages. You just want to make sure that you, you keep it short enough to so they get the full message and you can also customize those with, with those same words. And then you have the option to create your email message and text messages also in Spanish. So once you've created your messages, you want to make sure that you go up to the top and save your message. So you've now created the message that the clients will get when you've uploaded a tax return and given them access to it. So we'll go back to the upload type. The next column is upload type. So this is what will actually display in the drop down when they are uploading documents. So these are going to be the choices that will have. Upload type category. You can see here we have four different categories for the upload type. The account upload will be in the account documents will be account documents which is going to be found in the account information section within the client's file. This is probably the most commonly used upload type. The next one is company upload. This is for documents that you're going to upload and save on your company page. Things that you would put in your company page would be documents that you're going to put into your additional links, company documents, payroll documents, things like that that are related to your actual company, not to a client or not to an employee. 
contact upload will de be displayed in the permanent documents. And those can be found under the contact information section within a client's file. Some things that you may put there would be things that you want to keep permanently with a, with a client's file, maybe something like social security cards, driver's license, IDs, those type of things. User upload will be on the user's page, so your employee's page. So you may want to upload documents into your employee files, maybe things like employment packets, W-2s, unemployment requests, anything that's related to your employee you can create as a user upload. So inactive, if you no longer want to use an upload type that you've created, you mark it as inactive and then it will no longer show in the drop down. Business type, you can select one business, one particular business type for the upload or you can have it be for all business types. So we're just focusing in on tax preparation. The required column can be used if you want certain documents or uploads to be required. For example, maybe you want to make sure that you have an ID on file for each one of your clients, then you can mark that upload as required and then Adam will prompt you to gather that information from the client. The confidential column, you have an upload type that is strictly confidential so only administrators are able to see that. So likely you're going to use this on your users page for confidential employee documents. So if you mark an upload type as confidential, if somebody does not have administrative rights, they won't even see that upload type. Default client access. You have three different choices here. You can choose the default client access per upload. So no access, for example, this is where we upload our check stubs, we have this set as no access. Generally, we don't need to give our clients access to copies of their checks that we've scanned into their file, so we set that up as no access. Limited access, that would be for documents that you only want your clients to have access to after they've paid your invoice or after you've gotten paid. For example, we set up our, our tax returns we set up our tax returns as limited access, so the clients will only be able to view or print those tax returns after we've gotten paid on them. Full access is the last option, and that means that the client always has access to those documents. So if you're setting something up for an e-signature or maybe putting an amendment, something out there that you always want the clients to have access to, you can set it up as full access. So these are the e default client access. So, so for example, you know, every time we upload a check stub, it's going to default to no access. But within the client's file, if at any time you want to override the access for that particular upload, you do have that option. Mark is done. You can have your uploads automatically marked as done or you can leave them unchecked and then they will not be marked as done. Most of ours we mark as done, but for example, when a client uploads document, documents to us through the portal, we have those default to not done so then we can see which documents we haven't addressed and then as we've gone through those uploads, we will mark them as done. But if you want them to default and mark as done, you can check that box right there. So that is all for actually creating or edit, editing your upload types within Atom. There is um, separate videos under document management, which actually shows you how to upload and store your documents within the various areas within Atom. Thank you.